Hello survivors, welcome to the Red Lantern. We are moving to Alaska for putting together a sled dog team and becoming a musher. And we're looking for a new, our new home. Now, all the while, we need to survive the Alaskan bush and take care of our dogs. I love the art style and overall feel of the Red Lantern. It's very similar to one of my all-time favorite games, The Long Dark, which was supposed to have its next episode be released right about now, and was delayed till next year sometime, which I was pretty bummed about. So this game could not come along at a better time. This game, I love the premise of this game. It looks like a lot of fun. So let's get right into it. have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Especially since you were that new, you're always one of my best friends. You always want a best friend. Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? I like it. It's like choose your own adventure. Igloo! Where are you, girl? Oh no. You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. So this is important. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? We need to be careful on who, what dogs we choose. Because your oh, dogs... Oh, you just a big old snowball. Your dogs are basically your big, lifeline. Big, fluffy, loud. When you're, when you're a musher. These are qualities we need. We want a dog that can handle the snow, for sure. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. It'll be an adventure for all of us. I like it. But everything should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. I like when I look around the camera. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. Automatically three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. The camera automatically looks back out the windshield like I'm really driving. That's pretty cool. I can already tell this game's You look be like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, something is special. It? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Yeah, this dog will definitely uh, consume a lot of energy, but we'll keep the team speed up. Yeah, I want to. You want to join the team?
Well, you really want that window open. You always need the wind in your fur. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. That would give you pretty selective. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. Mm. <laughs> the owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... Definitely might need a tracking dog. I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, Finn. I say yeah. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. Do you want to join love our to have team? You, Finn. Do you want to join our team? Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. <laughs> it's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That no. sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. We're going to find our place in nature. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Are you a pup that can smell porcupines and keep your nose out of trouble? Finn, Finn looks a I bit so, skittish. Because I'd be happy to avoid whatever trouble I can. Are you skittish, well, Finn? Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. This is going so well. Well, we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. Yeah, but the dogs we've met so far are good. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. I see you. You always just lay on the ground. You don't look very enthusiastic. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Rather responsive. Uh, I don't think I'm, you're what. I don't think you're what I'm looking for, Noodle. Enjoy your nap. Enjoy your nap. Adopting dogs dog, is so but... easy. I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete, and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but 
Sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. Hmm. This might be a dog with experience. Hmm. Maybe a good lead dog, but I think I'll just leave. It him seems like you've got a nice thing retire. going here. Enjoy, buddy. See what else we got. We're nearly a complete pack. Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is going to be a hard decision. Uh, Slayer? I'll, uh, give you your distance. Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. Yeah, I stayed back. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. That's probably true. I think it's just as important to know when to get yourself out of there as it is to know you can handle a challenge. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I think we'll adopt Slayer. Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, Seems, say hi. Seems like a nice spry dog. <laughs> Doesn't you're matter just if a it's big sweetheart. Cautious. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? Nothing wrong. We're on with our way to cautious. our new home. And you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary out there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. But we'll manage. We'll have to find our balance. Strike when we need to, and more importantly, know when to run. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. I have a feeling you believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. Each choice we make affects the, the, our direction, our path in the game. Look how beautiful this game looks. Very nice. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, oh, wow. not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. That's funny. So, you're Drawing gonna on. have to take the lead. Drawing on a it's menu. a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but... I think you're ready for it. The ready to find our new home? Chomper's in the lead, yeah, huh? Yeah, me too. From San All Francisco right. to Let's Alaska. Let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Slayer, Gale, Finn, Iggy. And the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're going to have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Bree? Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. All right. What do they say again? Mush on. Uh, mush on. <laughs> Oh wow, this is so cool. 
So I can look around with the mouse. I think the dogs are basically steering themselves. I can kind of lean. Aha. Along the trail, you will run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also big rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. Okay. This is your hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon or risk losing your current run. Ooh, I feel like I can, if I... Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Uh, let's check it out. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. I think they call them Martins. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. My pups haven't learned to climb yet. So you're safe up there. Well, the Slayer thinks she can reach owls. So maybe one day, far in the future, that'll be a problem for you. Well, that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Let's be safe out there. Oh, I forgot. I probably shouldn't have done that. So tab shows meat, bullets, I don't know what that is, and then med pack. This is your dog's energy meter. Crossing a trail marker costs one energy. Okay. Ooh, these are your examples of trail markers? Why? Wow, there's four different ones. Your run will end if you cross a trail marker when either your uh, hunger meter or your dog's energy meter is empty. Okay. Makes sense. So I'm, I feel like I'm kind of steering the dogs, but not really. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to hunt it. You're making this feel really personal. I know, right? I feel bad, but I want the meat. I can't miss from here. Okay, E slows it down by holding our breath. Okay. So I need to time it that way. Well, that wasn't a great shot, but... That was right Thank in. you for helping us. That's a really cool mechanic. That was worth it. Some more food. Alright, we've got two bullets. I think we're done here. Let's go. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So, let's go. So, end a little bit of the map. I don't want to go right. There's a uh, care. Actually, the caribou is up top. Yeah, let's go left first. Ha! So, ha. So, we can camp at any time, I guess. And we probably should right now. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. Now that I think about it. Because our hunger meters it's are here. Free. What should we do? Uh, let's hunt. Let's leave this one. You're right. It's too far. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's too far away. Should we camp? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. I wonder if our environment matters at all. We, no? uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Welcome to camp. Here's your... Here you can eat meat, filling your hunger meter. You can use a dog bowl to feed your dogs, filling their energy. And you can sleep, restoring maximum capacity. Oh, okay, lost by being tired. So we can only fill our meter so much if we're tired. So maybe we should... Mm, it's still pretty bright in the day, early in the day. I don't think... Well, maybe not. If we sleep, it's going to be dark, though. So let's go ahead and... A fire would be nice. Start a fire. At least I'm well-practiced in fire starting. 
I'm ready to cook some food. So we can choose how much we want. And the more I eat, the less there's gonna be for the dog. So we're only gonna eat one. And then we can food feed time. the dogs. Chow down, pups. Okay, we're not gonna go all the way. Because we don't wanna run out of food. I don't want them to run out of energy. Let's leave two more pieces left. One for us, one for the dogs, maybe. In our journal, we fed the pups a full meal. So, like I said, we're not gonna sleep just yet. So, we're gonna get, get back, back on the, the trail. trail. Let's get back out there. Roll, Mashan. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes I feel like I'm in full control of the dogs, and other times, like, not at all. Oh, thank God. A birch grouping. Oh, we'll go rip off some birch. I need you to start fires! <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. So that... Okay, us I'm back. This birch will really help. That's what that is. Bird. Let's go, Chopper. We didn't have any, so we're gonna we'll need that. Yeah, the, the the controls are really quite unique. You've become tired. While tired, the capacity of your hunger and your dog's energy meter is reduced. You can sleep at a camp to remove this effect. Okay. Well, we're not going to sleep just yet. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. We're going to hunt it. Just stay there. All Thank right. you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled, pups. Oh, so That's now a good we diversion. have six meat. Okay. We've got some more meat. Okay, because of my health, snack. my health meter, my um. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. All right, let's mush on. Because of our hunger meter, I'm gonna hit C, and we're gonna camp at the next mile marker again. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. Let's rest. Which is right here. Take a break, pups. So we're going to... Light that a fire park. would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. I'm ready to cook some food. So we have six pieces. And we're going to eat one, two... Uh... Almost, almost all the way. Because we need to feed the dogs and we need Good to time. sleep. Which Chow is down, gonna, pups. We're just going to expand our meter and we can fill it up a lot more. Now we're going to fill them all the way up. Now why did that say minus one when I went? Oh, okay. So we're going to feed them all, all the way up. And then we're going to sleep after we pet Chomper. <laughs> Does that feel good, Chomper? And now we'll get time to sleep. get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Yes. Six hours pass. All right, everyone feeling better? So we're a little more hungry now. I wish we could eat more, but we don't have any meat right now. So let's, um, 
guess we need to get back on the trail, even though it's dark. Get back on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. I wish I knew what time it was. Finn, what do you think? What is that? Uh... Run away. Leave it. Mush on. Oh no, it was ptarmigans. I have a feeling... I thought it was skunks. We probably should have stopped. Work on the road. Where to? That's okay. Let's go, G. G! Right. That would keep us... I don't want to go onto the lake. I don't have to. Wait, is that a caribou? I don't want to hunt that one because it's running. Okay, okay. We'll keep running. I have a feeling we miss it. Mush on, pups. Mush on. Now what? That's definitely a skunk, right? Can you actually find food like that? Oh, no, it's a fox. Uh, yes. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Couldn't make up my mind in time. Work on the road. Where to? Hmm. G. G. You know, oh, right. we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees. And snow. Probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. We're on a river right now? No, we're on the edge of a lake. Oh, that was crazy. Look out! Oh my word! Oh Stay my back. gosh! Stay away from them! I can't shoot now! Nikki! I said stay! Wow, it just oh let God. me... Oh, God! You okay, girl? Oh, you're a little hurt, girl. But we can fix that up. Just ride in the sled for a bit. The team will be okay. We don't get any meat from that. Oh, we got It's okay. Four. Get in the sled. Okay. You don't need to run right now. We've got some more meat. We're gonna need to find bullets. Let's get back out there. Hmm. Now, if we were to camp right now, could we heal the dog? Hmm. Or is it best... Let's go... Is it best to just let it rest? Let's go... Ha! Ha! Time. I thought Left. things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. I didn't even know that muskox were out here, and, and they don't care about what happens to us at all. This might be too much for us, but... How do you know when something is actually for you? We'll find our way. Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Where are we going?
trying to stay on the trail. So I think we need to camp soon, but... I can't believe the ice can just control a river of this size. How much food is just traveling beneath us? It looks like there's an opening up ahead. There's nothing for us here except for the chance of an icy end. Let's go. It didn't even give me the option. I have a feeling it's because we don't have a fishing pole. All right, so we're on let's camp. look for a good spot to camp. You pop see that? Oh, please be full. Please be full. All right. Two bullets. You know All what? Right. Better than nothing. Good dog. Leads us to bullets. Okay? Great name for All a dog. Right, we got Bullet. two bullets. I think we're done here. Let's go. I don't know how we do this without you, Edward. You put the team before yourself every time. I'm gonna try to be as good as you. Let's rest. Yes. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Hey, buddy. How you holding up? There you go, Igloo. Tend to wounds with bed pack. Gotta have the dogs first. So what do we have? We have four meat. We need to. We don't have anything to make a fire. Oh no. So we can't eat. That means. Food time. Chow down, pups. So we're gonna leave one meat in case we need it for us. That sucks. We don't have any perch. I didn't. I can't eat, can I? I can't eat raw meat. Hmm. Might We're be time to, to get sleep. some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Yeah, if you see on, underneath our food, a hunger meter on the right it says easy. That means we're tired. Six hours is not what it, I wish I could choose, All right. you know? Everyone feeling better? So we still have no way to light a fire, right? We don't have anything to make a fire. But it gives me the option to eat food. Maybe we should eat. Can't start a fire. Guess I'll have to eat it raw. On second thought, maybe not. Yeah, that's a bad idea. So let's get back, back on the, the trail. trail. Let's get back out there. Because we can head towards a birch and birch trees, and then um, we have a couple bullets. Wait, can we go this way? Uh, what do you want to go this way? What is that? Uh, I'm gonna leave it. We're good, team. On by. I hope it wasn't birch. We go towards the trees. There are so many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. Take the I'm axe. just going to uh, take this. Come on, get some perch, baby. We need gathering wood with an axe doesn't call. All oh, right. I don't think I mind. So is this really where I want to be living? This place where people just, like, disappear and then someone comes along and just takes your axe? Well, should I try yeah. this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. Collect birch with the axe. No pull in this loss. Okay, great. This is exactly what we wanted. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. So we only have one meat in that. The cups do okay? We can start a fire at camp now. All right, yeah, we're gonna All have right. to. Let's mush on. So I, I hit C, and hopefully we come to a trail Should marker. We camp? Yep. Okay. 
but we're gonna have to feed ourselves. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. A fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. I wonder how many fires worth of birch we got. I'm ready to cook some food. Alright, so I, I, I apologize, dogs, but we can't... <laughs> Is the sun going down or coming up? I don't remember now. Should we rest or move on? I think we should move on. Back on the trail? If we rest, right. we'll be uh, too, too hungry when we get up, you know what I mean? Where are we? Okay, so we need to go G next. To the right. After, oh, sir. We, G. after we find something to shoot. Let us find something to shoot. Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? No, it's gonna be a skunk. Another time, Finn. I just have a feeling. Because it said in the, when we picked her out, that she was the, the finder of skunks. What is that? See the blimp? Hopefully it's not a wolf. Is it a wolf? No, it's a caribou. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Let's hunt it. Just stay there. Thank All you, right. caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like less. I'll meet you back at the sled pups. Because our dogs are pretty hungry. So give oh, us worth it? more meat. We've got some more meat. Yeah, okay. I should feed you pups. Yeah. So now we can eat and sleep. Only one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's mush on. No, we don't have any way to start a fire now. All right, we need to find some trees. Okay, we just passed a marker. Maybe even tired. We need to find some trees. Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should. Wow. Okay, Gail. Uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing porcupines. with porcupines. No, huh? no, See? no, no, no. They have no. a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. No. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Oh my God. I've had That's to deal still, with that. You can't in the, just rush into things. In real life. Especially things covered in spikes. <laughs> Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. All right, let's mush on. Oh no, we're not gonna find any, any birch in time. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by It's impossible to get those quills out of a dog's I face. I know it's bothering you. But so let's Okay, we have no way to start a fire. We're Looks about like we're to pass there. a mile marker. Uh... G! G. I'm, um, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Oh no. Ah, ah, a nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? Okay, I just have to be prepared. And hope the world is on my side. Uh, now, as you play, you will make interesting discoveries. At the end of each run, these will be added to your journal. Your journal's packing list details of food, wood, bullets, and med packs. You start with each you start each run with as you make more discoveries and become more prepared you start future runs with more resources okay I have 
never met a tree I didn't like. I felt small out on the plains. They're just as much ice as they really are a million. Are there really a million lakes out there? Imagine the new neighbors you'll have and all the beauty you'll see. Don't be afraid to explore. All right, so. We got four bullets and three food, I think, added to our our packing list. And that little nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps? <laughs> Let's keep going. Try again. All right, we're going to take a break. So we didn't make it on our first run, and... I don't really think you're supposed to. I really don't. I I'm sure it's possible, but I'm not... I mean, we did pretty good. We got really far. And uh, we'll give it another shot in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end this one here. I it that was a lot of fun. I think I can... I'm, I'm just, you know, I think I can get the hang of this. Um... This is a very unique game, and I really, I really, really like the way that it plays. I love the way that it looks. As I said before earlier, it reminds me of my favorite survival game, The Long Dark. And uh, you should, if you like this game, you should really head to the playlist section of my channel, and you will find The Long Dark playlist, and just watch the heck out of that, because it's really, really great. So, it was good to see you guys. I'll see you in the next one. This has been The Red Lantern, and as always, peace.